Good evening, Chetty Camp. This is Paula Dan Perez from CHNE Community Television. Here's our January 22nd interview with Cape Breton Cancer OMP, Mike Kellaway. What are the issues that you're focusing on that have an impact on Chetty Camp? Well, I mean, what we're... It's a continuation, rather, of, uh, of, of the campaign and what I've heard. Uh, you know, we're, we're listening to uh, many folks in, in Chetty Camp and surrounding areas in Chetty Camp talk about, uh, you know, affordable housing, accessible housing, uh, the fishery, tourism, um, and uh, economic development. Um, and, uh, you know, so and how do we expand on the assets that Chetty Camp has uh, in its community, its assets around tourism and economic development, uh, the fishery in particular. I've talked to many folks uh, in the fishery who uh, have some uh, great ideas and uh, they have some challenges, but in particular, it's, um, you know, uh, bread and butter issues in America from Shetty Camp, Comcat, uh, uh, Richmond County, Glace Bay, Nova Scotia. It's around, you know, how do we make life more affordable for, for Canadians? And, uh, in, you know, we've had a very robust platform and now I'm very much looking forward to working with my colleagues in Ottawa to put that into practice in terms of, uh, you know, budgetary items, um, and, uh, and policy going forward. And what would you say the government is doing to address the housing shortage in Jerry Camp? Well, you know, we, 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 we've had, uh, a, uh, I think this government in, in general has had nationally a, a major focus on housing. And what I'm interested in doing is sitting down um, and uh, uh, we have our open house, or not open house, we have our uh, remote office, rather, uh, this Thursday in Chetty Camp. And uh, we have uh, a full day of appointments actually already slated in, which is great. And uh, my hope is that if we can't, uh, my team cannot get uh, some time with some folks who want to talk about housing, that I'll be back up and I'm up a lot anyway. I had to talk about, um, you know, how do we tackle, uh, you know, affordable housing, accessible housing. Um, it's easy for me to say this is what I think we should do, but uh, my, my my platform and my kind of raison d'etre uh, in terms of running and as your MP is to listen to the community and bring back community solutions. So I'm eager to, to, to sit down with many of the stakeholders in Chitty Camp and talk about what are some ideas that we can put forward that we can connect to uh, uh, collaboration, partnership, and, and, and hopefully investment? Did you hear any ideas while you were running the uh, the campaign? Um, you know, generically speaking, yes, but not specifically. And I think that's the goal of this, this 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 year coming up is to sit down and drill down deep as to what are some best practices that we can look at nationally that are of a rural nature, uh, that are similar to Shed Camp, but also what are some homegrown solutions. And the one thing that I do know is that Shed Camp has a history of innovation, uh, creative thinking, and, and, and sort of sit down and to listen and to learn. And to go back and forth on some ideas is something I relish that my platform uh, in running was very much, uh, this is a collaborative uh, collaboration uh, effort uh, with the community. So uh, not specific examples per se, uh, but I know that there's a thirst to, uh, to to sit down and have some discussions on affordable housing, on uh, how do we uh, extend um, the tourism season uh, in Shetty Camp and area to go throughout uh, the winter, uh, and uh, looking at new avenues to, to basically uh, provide a, a snapshot to the world of what Shetty Camp has to offer from a tourist perspective and do so um, uh, 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 during the entire calendar year. So there are some concerns that efforts to protect the white whales might negatively impact the fishing industry. What can you say about that? Um, well, I've, uh, I've, I've spoke to uh, many fisher, fishers rather uh, in the in and around Shetty Camp, I've had some good exchanges via email and so I had some sit-down discussions during the campaign. And my thought process is, as the MP for this area, is, is, is to work in collaboration with the fishers um, and, and government and be that conduit to bring, uh, bring science, but also bring what fishers uh, know to be best practices in stewardship when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, white whales or, or, or for that matter, conservation of, of the species, whether it be lobster, crab, or uh, any sort of fish. Have you been in touch with any groups? This goes right for the fishing industry and also, I guess, housing, too. 
Uh, more so, I, I've had conversations with some economic groups that were in Shetty Camp, and then very much more individual discussions with folks on uh, accessible housing and, 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 and kind of the, the challenge that is presented uh, in front of us. Um, and when it comes to um, accessible housing or, or the fishery, they've been very much at the moment uh, uh, discussions with key stakeholders individually. But part of this is an incremental. We're going to broaden the net. Have discussions with groups um, uh, on the fishery, on on uh, on oceans management, and things of that nature. Is there anything that you would like to add? Uh, I just that we you know we're very much looking forward to coming to Shetty Camp on Thursday. Um, this is our third uh, remote office of the month. Uh, Port Hawkesbury was our first, and I have to tell you, uh, one of the first action items uh, my team and I sat down to talk about about promises made and promises kept was to to pilot a, a, a roaming office in the uh, Ryan. And as you know all too well and and, and, uh, and followers of, uh, of the radio station is that our riding is really, really large. It's about 9,384 square kilometers, uh, the size of the country of Lebanon. And so when you look at the size of the riding, um, I can say that so far, a roaming office is a hit with constituents. Um, uh, we have a full working day in, uh, in Shetty Camp from uh, 10 to 2. And uh, appointments have been just coming in left, right, and center. Uh, the same with Arishat. When we got to the doors into the community center in Shetty Camp, there were people outside waiting to see uh, staff. And uh, in Port Hawkesbury, I had the chance to be in Port Hawkesbury. And uh, we had appointments. We had walk-ins, both from an individual uh, perspective, but also groups looking to talk about opportunities with respect to newcomers or economic development or social development. So what I what I said and what we're following through on is that it's time to take the office, the MPs office, can take button cancel cancel and bring it to the people. And all the questions that you've asked are so valid and so important, and and it does start with community. And so the solutions that we put forward, at least I can only speak for myself as an MP, the solutions I'll put forward in terms of whether it's broadband or whether it's um, uh, federal funding of health care to the provinces or whether it is uh, anything related to rural and economic development, will be uh, a collaboration from uh, working with the communities and then working with uh, my partners and collaborators here in Ottawa to put the best case forward, not just for challenges, to address challenges, but to address solutions or bring out solutions more. And I think uh, I'm very bullish on uh, on, on our riding, uh, on the diversity of our riding, on the thirst for rural developments to take place. And uh, you have a fighter in me uh, fighting for uh, our riding, voting for uh, the, the, the different uh, towns and villages in our riding, uh, our municipalities. Um, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to that. I just got out of a Atlantic caucus and a rural. Uh, a national caucus meeting where, you know, I spoke to the importance of, uh, you know, uh, you know, very, very sound, credible plans to push, uh, broadband forward. But we don't do that alone when I never do anything in a vacuum. I want to do things in collaboration. I think when you do that, people buy in more. They're part of the solution. And there's nothing better to, to, to know that you're working with your MP. And more importantly, it makes me feel good to know I'm working with my community to address solutions. And are we going to, Succeed on everything? Um, probably not, but I'll tell you what we'll succeed at doing. I think we'll succeed at getting wins um, that are incremental, that are important to people, and they'll know that their MP is up there taking his swings for the riding that I uh, absolutely adore. Would you say that broadband is one of the most urgent issues? Yeah, yeah, across the entire riding. Uh, so if you talk about, if you look at the east coast of the island, the west coast of the island and northeastern Nova Scotia where this riding resides. Um, from a uh, from a uh, economic development standpoint, from a safety standpoint, from a external tourism standpoint, it's important that um, world class destinations and world class citizens and world class uh, regions within our riding have broadband cell phone coverage both sides. And, you know, I'm not going to be able to wave a wand and get that overnight. But I'm going to let people know up here that 
um, like a lot of rural areas in Canada. We're not the only one. Uh, and we need to, uh, we need to, um, move forward to ensure that everyone has access to cell phone coverage and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and broadband. And I've traveled this riding so many times, I can't even count. Uh, I can tell you pretty much where all the dead zones are. And, uh, I want to be able to, to work with the community and work with the rural caucus here, national caucus. And I want to work with the minister of rural and economic development to say, let's make this a, a strong, a strong presence, uh, in, in budgets or future budgets so we can properly invest where we can. That was Cape Breton Council MP Mike Kellaway. He was on the phone with us from Ottawa. Thank you for listening. I'm Paula Dan Perez from CHNE.